नमस्कार इंडिया मेटोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम यू इन डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग एज फार एज हाईलाइट ऑफ टूडेज डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग आर कंसर्न सो हिल स्टॉम एक्टिविटी ओवर द सेंट्रल इंडिया मध्य प्रदेश एंड एडजॉइनिंग पार्ट ऑफ छत्तीसगढ़ एंड विदर्भा इज लाइकली टू कंटिन्यू टिल टूमोरो एंड ए फ्रेश एक्टिव वेस्टर्न डिस्टर्बेंस इज लाइकली टू एफेक्ट नॉर्थ वेस्ट इंडिया फ्रॉम ट्वेल्थ ऑफ अप्रैल विच विल कॉज इंटेंस रेनफॉल स्पेल ओवर वेस्टर्न हिमालयन रीजन एंड प्लेन्स ऑफ नॉर्थ वेस्ट India during 13th to 15th of April. So, as far as observed weather is concerned, so yesterday uh, uh, three to four stations of Western Madhya Pradesh reported hail storm activity, and uh, seven to eight stations of East Madhya Pradesh reported hail storm uh, activity, and uh, one to two stations of Chhattisgarh, uh, uh, Vidarbha, and Telangana also reported uh, uh, hail storm activity, and also uh, heat wave conditions were reported at three stations of Tamil. Uh, uh, due to this hail storm activity, as we can see over here, that the temperatures have uh, fallen further over uh, central India, and these temperatures uh, have caused further fall in uh, temperatures uh, in maximum temperatures over the uh, parts of peninsular India as well. So, due to this, the heat wave conditions uh, over Ral Sima, coastal Andhra Pradesh, uh, and uh, interior Karnataka uh, and Telangana has abated uh, has abated from yesterday. And now we are uh, seeing no possibility of uh, uh, heat wave conditions over over the peninsular India during next five days. Although there is a, a very less possibility of uh, uh, heat wave condition at one station of uh, North India Karnataka today and also at one or two stations of Saurashtra and Kutch during next uh, two to three days. Although this possibility of heat wave conditions over Saurashtra and Kutch for next three days and over uh, North India Karnataka for uh, today is very less. Then we come over to the second uh, weather uh, uh, situation that is uh, going on over uh, central India. So uh, today and tomorrow again hill storm activity is uh, likely over uh, Madhya Pradesh, Vidarbha uh, and Chhattisgarh and that's why here uh, we are uh, uh, giving uh, orange color for this weather activity. And uh, over the over uh, Madhya Pradesh this hail storm activity may extend even up to 11th of April. Thereafter as uh, uh, we have uh, seen in the highlights that a, an active western disturbance is likely to affect northwest India from 12th of April. So this uh, uh, western disturbance prior to this western disturbance we also have currently a feeble western disturbance roughly along 60 degree of longitude and uh, thereafter uh, we will be uh, getting another western disturbance uh, which is currently over as a cyclonic circulation extending up to upper tropospheric uh, levels uh, with associated trough in middle tropospheric westerlies over the Mediterranean Sea and the trough is roughly along 35 degree of longitude. So this uh, uh, western disturbance would uh, move would move eastwards gradually and would uh, start impacting uh, uh, northwest India from 12th of April. So here as we can see that on 12th of uh, from 12th of April uh, this is the current western disturbance which will uh, be which is likely to cause isolated to scattered uh, light rainfall activity and snowfall activity over Jammu and Kashmir and Himachal Pradesh on uh, 10th and 11th and from 12th uh, we are likely to receive uh, scattered uh, rainfall activity uh, over uh, JNK and HP and on 13th as we can see here that uh, there is uh, this is sky blue color entire uh, this uh, uh, western Himalayan region Jammu Kashmir, Ladakh, Gilgit, Baltistan, Mujafrabad, Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand and Punjab and Haryana, Chandigarh and Delhi are likely to receive fairly widespread light to moderate rainfall and snowfall in the Himalayan region. Region. And this activity is likely to extend up to fifteenth uh, of fifteenth uh, of April, with the maximum intensity on thirteenth of April and fourteenth of April. And uh, due to this, uh, there is also a likelihood of. Uh, uh, likelihood of uh, isolated heavy rainfall and snowfall activity over Jammu, Kashmir, Ladakh, Gilgit, Baltistan, Mujafrabad, Himachal Pradesh uh, 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 on, on 13th of April and also there is uh, isolated heavy rainfall snowfall activity likelihood on 14th of uh, April as well and also uh, uh, on this uh, day of, uh, uh, of 13th of April uh, uh, thunderstorm activity over a large part of uh, northwest India uh, 
the, the, the region uh, which has been uh, uh, surrounded here with uh, this uh, red color uh, over this entire region there is a likelihood of thunderstorm activity and this thunderstorm activity may also be uh, uh, accompanied with isolated hailstorm activity although for possibility of hailstorm we are currently not giving any warning but we are continuously monitoring the situation and if we find the uh, atmospheric situations to be uh, uh, suitable enough for giving the hailstorm warning then uh, the India Meteorological Department will uh, update uh, the uh, hailstorm warning for this region uh, for 13th and 14th of April as well. So that's all for today. Tomorrow we will again meet with Delhi weather briefing for weather warning during next 5 days. Thank you and goodbye.